Welcome, I'm from the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro and today I'll show you how to add and also use the uh, Mi Remote Control app. So let's go into the tools where you will find the Mi Remote and uh, terms and conditions such as agree to this, um, allow Mi Remote to access the device location, not exactly sure why the hell it needs the location, it's using IR sensor, not localization, uh, but I assume it won't work without it, so um, i just allow it. Um, access photos, media, also not sure why that, why we would need access to all that, but apparently we don't really have a choice here. Um, maybe the store so it saves it, I assume. But from here, uh, we're on the main page, and as you can see, it's completely empty, so let's start by adding a remote. And here we have all the different devices that you can add. So you have things like AC, fans, smart boxes, TVs, uh, set of boxes, um, cameras even. So DVD projectors, so whatever uh, basically has a remote, you can add it. Um, from here, choose uh, the device category. I'll go with the TV. Now I won't be exactly able to show you uh, the exact way how it works. I don't really have any TV in here that I can add um, with a remote. So I'll just guide you through it uh, and you can test it on your own. So from here, you have all the list of different TVs right now, as you can see, and there is a quite a huge range of them. Uh, now, if you are struggling with finding yours, you can just simply tap right here and search for it. So I'm going to search for something like a Samsung. There we go, Samsung. And once you tap on it, it gives you a TV on. Um, and so you can select if it's on or off right now. So let's just select that it's off. Um, now this is dependent more on you. If your TV is on or off, select whichever option is accurate uh, to your uh, right current situation. And then you will have the power button. So um, trying remote control mode. So you have 39 different ones which you can try right now. And simply you tap on the power key. It asks you, and does the device turn on or off? Um, so basically, if your device was on, it should turn off, and if it's off, then it should turn on. And all you need to do is select if it did turn off. So um, basically, if you select no, it cycles to the next remote and tries a different, uh, a different remote in a way. If you select yes, then it automatically recognizes it as this remote works and it just makes a default one uh, with all the buttons. So as you would see, if I select no, it goes to the next one. I again tap on it, no, tap on it again. Uh, for instance, it still doesn't do anything, no. Uh, for, now, let's say that I tap it now and it turns on, yes. And it looks like it has a couple additional options right here. Uh, so it looks like uh, certain at certain points you will have also uh, different options of those remotes uh, to get them fully working. Here you again have the same process. So this is menu. It asks you if the menu opens. Uh, again, use same process, yes or no, and say yes, you're done. And from here, you have the device name. So that is basically how the uh, thing would be named. And here also have uh, renamed device, so it adds a um, position of it. So you have defaults, living room, uh, study, and dining room. You can select either one of those or not. It doesn't really matter. And here add shortcut. So I would select that to uh, add a shortcut. It will add an icon on your home screen on the device. And then simply tap on pair. And there's the remote. So as you can see, you have all the buttons uh, working normally, power key, and all those different things. And if you go home, you will also see that there's the Samsung um, shortcut for the remote so you can tap on it and quickly access it and now you can basically use your device to control your tv instead of looking for your remote if you don't want to and the benefit of this app is the fact that you can add a plethora of different remotes and have them all stored on your device um, and just pull them up whenever you need it but that is how you would add it and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching